Hey everyone, Joe Grant here uh, with a status report on the new version of the Emic text-to-speech module. Um, I'm calling this one Emic 2. Uh, this version runs on an Epson S1V30120 text-to-speech chip, um, which is this TQFP64 package right here, sitting on this Epson development board that's pretty huge and it supports a bunch of other um, chips as well. But if you remember, previously we used a Windbond uh, WTS701, which was discontinued. So the Epson part is available um, at a uh, fairly low cost, around $4, um, and uh, they don't see canceling this product in the foreseeable future, which is good. Um, the control for the Epson part is a lot more complicated, um, so we need a uh, higher functioning uh, processor. Previously I'd used a small little pick. This time I'm using a Freescale cold fire part and I'll explain um, the process of why it's so complicated. Uh, then down here is just a uh, hacked old version of the Emic device, just I'm using the audio amplifier on here because that's going to end up being the same, and then the uh, speaker here. So this is the whole development system I have set up through my um, Freescale BDM interface over to my development environment here. So what I'm going to do, I have the debugger set up right now. I'm going to start executing the code. And then I have some debug messages coming down here. So things are running pretty, pretty slowly just so I can debug everything. But basically on power on to the text-to-speech chip, you need to load the voice file. So this makes it somewhat easy to update um, the voice information if we need to. And uh, the Epson part actually supports Spanish um, as well as English. So it's loading everything uh, packet by packet, and then it has to do some other configuration as well. And then you just send the text data to the unit and it will start speaking. So let's see if we can hear it. Hello everyone. My name is Emmett 2 I am the next generation text-to-speech module created by Grand Idea Studio. I can whisper very quietly. I can change voices from Paul to Harry to Denisto. Wendy. I can also increase my pitch and increase my pitch again, then speak faster and even faster and even faster again, and then go back to normal. The next steps are to add the command interface to the firmware so you can start sending commands and actual strings of text to the device, uh, and then obviously condense this down to a small module, which I think I can get even smaller than um, this version, the older version of Emic. Uh, so that's it for now, and I'll uh, see you guys at the next update.